Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Monday, March the 7th, 2021. And today I'm doing a mini uh, reseasoning on my number six Wagner. Uh, this was one of the first three pans I ever picked up. And I didn't know anything that I shouldn't wire wheel this, but I did. But it holds the seasoning just fine. I've been using it a long time. You can see how black it is. It's on the, the bottom, the side walls and in the skillet. Now, I did soak this for a while. I made, I was going to make an omelet, but my mistake today was I was kind of in a hurry and I was hungry and I, I cooked the chopped ham. And sometimes when ham cooks, it has a little bit of carbohydrate in it. Not a lot, but a little bit. It'll caramelize in the pan. And I didn't uh, clean it thoroughly after. I just, you know, scraped it down with my uh, wooden spatula to try to get it not to stick and didn't respray it with some fat. I usually use either butter or I use this. It's 100% uh, pure avocado oil, avocado oil spray. Um, butter or bacon fat, whatever uh, that I have on hand that's healthy. But I didn't do that. I was hungry. And so my omelet became scrambled eggs and it's stuck and it was pretty bad. <laughs> And in case you're wondering, this pan right now is heating up on the stove, so I like to, like it to heat up for three or four minutes before I apply the seasoning to it. I want to do a mini seasoning, but you can see, you see a little bit of, little bit of um, seasoning that kind of on the sides, especially not in the bottom as much, that sometimes will come off a little bit. I soaked it with soap and water. I used Dawn the Blue Dawn original dish soap. And I just, you know, squirted it on the bottom and I filled it with suds and I let it soak for about an hour while I ate and did other things. Then I came back and took my, um, I'll show you, uh, my scratch free, that's older. This is what they look like when they're brand new, but on cast iron it doesn't matter. It's a non-abrasive um, pad that I use to clean my cast iron. So it basically, the, the, all the scum and the crud came off beautifully. It's beautifully smooth. Just needs another little coat to keep building this, the added layers of seasoning. This is why this one is one of my darkest skillets. And again, somebody had asked why, um, you know, how do you get, get the skillet dark? You use it a lot. And you give it many re-seasonings on occasion when it's needed. So I'm going to put the tripod down. And we're going to do that because I think it's getting warm enough that we can do it. And we're going to use our leftover Buzzy Wax. I wish they, Buzzy Wax had a better, uh, <laughs> a better way to package their products. I like the Buzzy Wax itself. It smells really good when you, when you put this on. Oh, I can smell it so good. Oh, So we're going to wipe it down. This is the new cotton rag that I'm using. It's part of an old t-shirt. I used the other rag in, uh, shown in yesterday's video probably for about five months. And it was so infused though that after a while it gets gunky and sticky and I figure I use it for a fire starter. But this, yeah. So we're gonna we wipe that on and I'm gonna wipe it off again like I do in a regular oven seasoning. Uh, you've seen this on yesterday's video. I was just showing you what it looks like after soaking this pan for an hour in soap and water, and it doesn't take off much seasoning at all. Not at all. So we're going to do the back. And we're gonna, the rag is not infused enough, so we're going to spread around the... Uh, whoops, I don't want to do that. Spread around the oil. Our seasoning oil. It's Buzzy Wax. I can't remember what they put in. I think they put grapeseed oil in it and uh, avocado oil and some other oils that I blend well with beeswax. I'd have to look at the ingredients, but I do like it. It's just not as convenient to use like the Easy Beasy seasoning stick that I get from Cast Iron Cookware. But you use what you got on hand. And you can see how beautiful that looks. I'm not sure where it, it cut off and on uh, uh, filming. Sometimes this camera does that, it'll cut off. But anyway, 
I did that, make sure all the lint's out. We're gonna let it sit on the burner until it starts to smoke, and then we're gonna wipe it down one more time. That's how I do my mini seasonings. But I'm not sure where it cut out, so I may be repeating myself. You can fast forward. <laughs> but uh, now I'm gonna say different things. I get these shop towels. I like Costco's better. I think it's uh, Scott uh, shop towels. They're heavy duty. They don't uh, shed lint on your pan, especially if the pans are smooth. Other brands do. Paper towels can. So these are great for removing seasoning after you've applied it to get an even coat. So now I'm just letting this uh, cook up a little bit. And there's a little bit of lint there. But you can see how black it is. It's because it's my oldest skillet. I've had it now going on five years. The more you use them, the blacker they get. It's as simple as that, so if you want them black, and not all mine are black because I have quite a few, and I rotate them, and so they are not always black, but they still cook very well as long as there's seasoning on there. But if they haven't built up the layers of seasoning in them, then you don't really want to soak it in soap. You may want to dab a little soap here and there to get off bits of food that's stuck on, but you know this one clearly could take the soap no problem. And now by mini seasoning, it'll be all ready for the next time I use it. So, um, see if it's, uh, I'm going to put the handle on as it gets a little bit warmer. I have it on a little less than medium heat right now. Um, you can see that. Can you see that come off of there? You can see that come off of there. So I'm just going to wipe it again. I just do that to make sure it's just all perfectly smooth. And if I don't use this again for... A week or so and you know it's hard to say when I use this one again um, certainly I can use it for dinner when I have to cook multiple pork chops in it but it'll stay nice and dry and all ready for the next use anyway guys I just wanted to show you this quick quickie and uh, thanks for watching please leave a question or comment below give me a thumb up and go make a great day thanks for watching